strategies in enhancement of food products the topic is plant breeding part 1 what is plant breeding plant breeding is purposeful manipulation of different species of plants to obtain desirable traits in a specific plant species now what are the aims of plant breeding to increase crop yield increase in tolerance against environmental stresses disease resistance better quality now environmental stresses include drought salinity high temperature etc What are the techniques used to fulfill these aims? The techniques include classical breeding of plants or classical plant breeding which involve crossing or hybridization of pure lines which is followed by artificial selection of desirable traits like disease resistance nutrition increase in yield etc also molecular biology and t- tissue culture techniques are used due to uh, improvement or due to discoveries in genetic engineering field now what are the steps Uh, to create a new variety that is genetic variety of a crop following are the steps accumulation of variation or or it's also called collection of variability next step evaluation and selection of parents third stage cross hybridization among the selected parents fourth one selection and testing of superior recombinants fifth and last step testing release and commercialization of new cultivars i repeat the name of the steps along with the description so the first one collection of variability or accumulation of variation accumulation it, this, this is done by scientists now this is one of the most essential point or it's the starting point of plant breeding so it's very important now why variable variability is collected just to uh, just to study and keep record to keep record what that is germplasm collection now coming to germplasm collection it is the process of collecting and preserving all the different alleles of all the genes present in a single species of a plant including their seeds then these information are used in the next step So what's the next step evaluation and selection of parents so what is done in uh, again i repeat in short what is done in collection of variability all the different types of alleles present in all the genes of a species are collected and preserved this technique is called germplasm collection for further use so what's the next step evaluation and selection of parents so parents with the desirable uh, characteristic features are selected using germplasm collection this is the first step in the second step these plants are reproduced in the third step pure lines are created whenever it's possible now coming to the next step that is cross hybridization among selected parents so what is done uh, the 
two parents are taken which have the uh, desirable combination of genes so parents with desirable combination of characters are selected and mating or multiplication multiplication is done this process this is very time consuming and tedious process now why because the pollen grain from the selected male parent must be transferred to the stigma part of the selected female parent so that's the first step then then what is uh, what will be done um then in the next step all the progenies the characters or the features characteristic features of all the progenies are observed observed this is very tedious and time consuming process first step i sto told second uh, reason is that suppose in 100 or 1000 of progenies only one will have the desirable Com uh, combination of characters so all the mm, all the progenies characters of all the progenies must be uh, evaluated very carefully to select to select the progeny with desirable combination now coming to the next point that is selecting s selection and testing of superior recombinants so how it is done selection and testing of superior recombi nants so the one one progeny with desirable uh, desirable um, combination of characters are then again multiplied to create pure lines among the progeny of hybrids those plants are first obviously it's selected then um, it's very crucial because uh, and uh, b crucial in respective to breeding objective and a very careful scientific evaluation must be done this step yields a plant that are superior to both of the parents and very often more than one superior progeny plant may become available then these are self pollinated for several generations till they reach a state of uniformity that is homozygosity as well so that the characters the combination of characters do not segregate in the next generation so what is done this step is very important in perspective of in perspective of breeding aim aim of breeding perspective of aim of breeding the hybrid containing desirable desirable combination of characters the hybrid containing desirable a uh, combination of characters is isolated 
from all other progenies this step is very crucial as i told and also must be done very carefully using scientific evaluation properly then the desirable progeny is multiplied for several generations so they reach a stable state of uniformity or homozygosity and progenies further generation next generation do not segregate the segregate the characters means they do not separate the characters now coming to the next point that is testing release and commercialization of new cultivars so this type of progeny after the self pollination this is done by self pollination multiplication is done is done by self pollination now next point uh, test selection testing and uh, commercialization so it's also selection sorry testing release and commercialization of new cultivars from the term only the first one testing means when something is evaluated or examined so what is evaluated there um, the um, uh, hybrid shows the desirable properties or not means the aim are fulfilled or not for example uh, yield and other agronomic uh, traits like quality disease resistance so those are the aims this evaluation is done by um, this evaluation is done uh, by uh, growing these in research fields and recording their performance under ideal fertilizer application also irrigation and other crop management practice so what is done in case of testing so next step testing release and commercialization of the product so what is done for the testing the uh, desirable hybrid is evaluated or checked are checked to see they fulfill the aims or not that is that is disease resistance resistance then uh, agronomic uh, traits like quality um disease resistance as well and most importantly yield now uh the they are tested uh, they are grown in research field and uh, different environmental condition 
means in all the seasons then also uh, 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 ideal fertilizer application irrigation and other crop, crop management practices now coming to the next point that is uh, uh, they uh, they are grown for at least three seasons at several locations in the country and uh, which which represent all the agro uh, climatic zones then the uh, it is compared this is the it is compared with available local crop cultivar because uh, to check or uh, for uh, as reference cultivar i repeat that uh, in research field uh, under different environmental conditions three seasons they are grown grown for three seasons and also compared with local crop cultivar cultivar to check our reference